hosting the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation or APEC CEO Dialogues. And as with most gatherings this year, it's been held online because of COVID-19. And a major focus is recovering after the pandemic. Zhang Xiaoyi has our top story. APEC leaders are discussing new ways to shore up economic resilience and foster growth. Key topics include digital economy and artificial intelligence, as well as improving trade and investment. Chinese President Xi Jinping has stressed the importance of international cooperation. Mounting unilateralism, protectionism, and bullying, as well as a backlash against economic globalization, have added to risks and uncertainties in the world economy. However, peace and development remain the underlying trend of our times. Meeting challenges through cooperation is the only way forward for us in the international community. Xi Jinping brought up China's plan for economic recovery with expanding domestic demand, promoting innovation, and deepening reform highlighted. He said the Chinese market will provide more opportunities for the world. Domestic development, of course, is the mainstay, then domestic and international development reinforce each other. He noted China will foster win-win cooperation and will always keep its doors open. China is already deeply integrated into the world economy and the international system. We will not reverse course or run against a historical trend or form a small circle to keep others out. APEC leaders are expected to adopt a new post-2020 vision to improve market access at their meeting on Friday. It was just last Sunday that China and 14 other Asia-Pacific nations inked the world's largest free trade deal, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. Jiang Shaoyi, CGTN.